today we are going to discuss particular integral of f of d into y is equal to sin bx or r cos bx where b is a constant b is a constant here you come across with the two cases first one is the phi of minus b square not equal to zero and the second case is phi of minus b square equal to zero what is the difference between these two means you have to replace the d square with minus b square you have to replace the denominator wherever you come across with the d square replace d square with minus b square in the denominator if it is not equal to zero then this is the solution if it is equal to zero then this is the solution or multiply the numerator with x and differentiate the denominator so this concept we will discuss in the example to understand it very clearly consider one example so solve d square minus 3d plus 2 into y is equal to cos 3x first step I have written d square minus 3d plus 2 into y is equal to cos 3x f of d is equal to d square minus 3d plus 2 auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0 therefore m square minus 3m plus 2 is equal to 0 is the auxiliary equation therefore you will get the roots as 1 comma 2 therefore complementary function is c1 e power x plus c2 into e power 2x now it is the time to find out the particular integral therefore particular integral yp is equal to 1 by f of d into cos 3x 1 by f of d into cos 3x okay therefore 1 by f of d into cos 3x how you have to do is 1 by d square minus 3d plus 2 f of d into cos 3x so here b is equal to how much b is equal to 3 b square is equal to how much 9 minus b square is equal to how much minus 9 so always replace d square with minus b square minus b square is minus 9 value d square you have to replace d square with minus b square that means minus 9 minus 3d plus 2 how much you will get cos 3x by minus 3d minus 7 if you simplify that one here minus 3d minus 7 is there so if d is there you cannot go for the substitution when you can do the substitution here if it is d square is there you can go for the substitution so what is our aim is to convert this one in terms of the d square for that one you rationalize this one that means uh, multiply the numerator with the 3d minus 7 also the denominator so what happens this you come across with the 7 minus 3d into cos 3x by 9d square minus 49 9d square minus 49 so if you observe this step so 3d minus 7 into cos 3x by 130 you will get if you simplify this one so that is equal to particular integral is equal to yp is equal to 1 by 130 into differentiation of cos 3x 3 into differentiation of cos 3 cos 3x differentiation is how much minus sin 3x again 3x differentiation is 3 therefore how much you will get total you will get minus 9 sin 3x here i have written plus but it is minus minus 9 sin 3x okay next to minus 7 cos 3x nothing but here it is not plus it is minus minus 7 cos 3x so if you get the here minus is there here minus is there if you get it outside of that one you will get minus 1 by 130 into 9 sin 3x plus 7 cos 3x so already we have the complementary function is already we have solved c1 e power x plus c2 e power 2x and this is the particular integral therefore general solution is y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral okay similarly you come across with uh, one more problem so d square plus 4 into y is equal to e power x plus sin 2x plus cos 2x here also f of d is equal to d square plus 4 and uh, auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0 therefore m square plus 4 is equal to 0 therefore m is equal to you are getting plus or minus 2a therefore uh, complementary function is e power 0x into c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x so for this one I am considering the particular integral 1 I will individually do the particular integral 2 individually I will solve particular integral 3 so yp1 is equal to e power x by d square plus 4 so in e power x model how to solve a 
coefficient of x is 1 so just you substitute the value of a in d so what happens 1 square plus 4 that is equal to 5 therefore e power x by 5 because the denominator is not equal to 0 therefore you can write okay e power x by 5 is the particular integral one so next to particular integral 2 so particular integral 2 yp2 sin 2x by d square plus 4 here b is equal to how much 2 b square is equal to 4 minus b square minus 4 so replace d square with minus b square therefore minus 4 plus 4 0 denominator you are getting 0 if the denominator you are getting 0 what you have to do multiply the numerator with x that means x into sin 2x differentiate the denominator so d square differentiation is 2d therefore x sin 2x by 2d so next what you have to do again this is nothing but minus x by 2 into minus x by 2 into 1 by d is there here 1 by d stands for integration d stands for differentiation 1 by d stands for integration so different integration of sin 2x cos 2x by 2 therefore yp2 is equal to minus x cos 2x by 4 you will get so again you will get uh, yp3 yp3 is nothing but cos 2x by d square plus 4 cos 2x by d square plus 4 so here it is uh, if b value is 2 b square value is 4 minus b square value is minus 4 therefore replace d square with minus b square minus 4 plus 4 you are getting 0 therefore multiply the numerator with x therefore x cos 2x differentiate the denominator d square differentiation 2d 4 differentiation 0 therefore x by 2 into 1 by d stands for integration therefore integration of cos 2x sin 2x by 2 integral of uh, cos 2x is nothing but sin 2x by 2 therefore you will get here x by 4 sin 2x therefore general solution y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral 1 plus particular integral 2 plus particular integral 3 so this is the general solution okay thank you